Praise the Lord. My name is Faith Abodorin, and this is my beautiful mother, Mommy uh, Folasha De Abodorin. I just want to thank God for my life. In 2011, I left this country to study medicine abroad, and um, financial situation got really tough for my parents. Um, and instead of a six-year course, medicine abroad, it ended up becoming an eight-year course because they couldn't really pay my um, school fees. But I want to thank God that somehow my mom started coming to this commission and we came in contact with daddy and mommy and they were very helpful. They gave some money to assist us. And uh, not just that, what I have to say is when they gave the money, it opened so many doors for me. So, so many does. People from all around the world started coming around to give me money just because of the fact. And I thank God I was able to graduate even with all the difficulty with the first class to God's glory. And, and not only that, um, God blessed me with a job um, uh, on Friday. So I give God all the glory. Yeah. You got a job where? I got a job in the United States. Okay, just snap it. Praise the name of the Lord. I just want to bless the name of the Lord for what daddy and mommy has been doing. I want to say that for my 30 years, more than 30 years in the ministry, I have not seen love like this in this ministry. I, I, I want to say again that because of what God is using this great man of God doing in the kingdom, there is still hope for, for Christ in this nation. There is still hope. The Lord has used him to start great things. And that love will not leave him or leave mommy. Please, just quickly, let me say something. Two weeks I came, I got home. An old man saw me. He said, where are you coming from? I said, I'm from Dunamis. I think it's from daddy's area. And he said... Madam, he works in our house. He said, Madam, he said, do you see how God is using uh, Pastor Polenete to raise our tribe up? He said it. He said, see how he's using that our tribe, because of him, our tribe has changed. He said, who did not like to, uh, to have a child like that? I just, because the, uh, I think what the man is doing, he's believing that if he has had a child like this man, he will not be what he is today. I, in fact, I don't know what to say. I said yes. That, is, it is just that lady was stranded in the course of her medical training because of money. And we got to hear of it. And we sent some money. She was schooling in Europe. But this girl is not able to progress in medical training because of money. We sent some money to her. And according to what she said, other monies came. It was meant to be six years course, but because of financial challenge, it became eight years. Long story made short, she was able to graduate with the highest level of honor in medical training, which is the first class she mentioned. Already finished certain exams and is now ready to practice and quality in America, already has a job right there. What a faithful God we serve. You will never be stranded your children will never be stranded. Your generation will never be stranded. You believe that, shout the loudest. Amen. Give the Lord a praise. Take your seat.